Here I have a model where someone receives shipments with different types of items. Each type needs different amounts of processing time, some shorter and some longer. Longer processes only need to happen once. However, items that have short processing need to be processed twice. Here's where the decide activity comes in. I query the type of item and send it to the, its respective processor by case. Here you can see that I take the type and I send it to a different connector. The first connector will go down, it's not type two, or to the left, it is, which then um, grabs the right processor. Then later on, as items with shorter processing time go through, I keep track of how many times they've been processed. Later in the process flow, I can use another decide activity based on a conditional statement to see if I need to reprocess them. Here's my statement. Um, I want to check if it's not type two, because those are longer, and if the number of times it's been processed is less than two. If so, then we send it back to the initial queue and reprocess it. Here's what it looks like. As you can see, these take longer, but then initially, or immediately go to the final queue, whereas these get sent back to the initial queue to the start.